Did you ever know that Montreal has an underground network that links its important buildings together for use by more than half a million people during the winter? Today the world is full of underground cities, many of which are hundreds of years old. Not only are these great cities inhabited, but they bear witness to a long history of human architectural achievements. In this video we review five amazing ranges all built underground. First, the ancient city of Petra in Jordan. Petra, the Arab capital of the Nabataeans, is considered one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world and the most important tourist attractions in Jordan, where it is visited by groups of tourists from all parts of the earth, located 240 kilometers south of Amman and 120 km from the Gulf of Aqaba and Petra is characterized by the nature of its architecture carved in the pink rock that contains a mixture of ancient architecture belonging to various civilizations and is a complete city carved in the pink rock. And Petra is a unique example of the most ancient Arab civilization, the Nabataean civilization, as the Nabataean Arabs carved it from the rocks for more than 2,000 years, and it is a witness to the richest and most ancient Arab civilizations. Where the site of Petra remained undiscovered to the west throughout the Ottoman period, until it rediscovered the Swiss Orientalist Johann Ludwig Barkart in 1812, through an expedition in each of the Levant Egypt and Arabia to the benefit of the British Royal Geographical Society. So many scholars and orientalists call Petra a lost city, due to the delay in its appearance to the world, and was described by the English poet Bergen as the eastern city the awe-inspiring, pink city is unmatched. It spans an entire city that includes homes, religious massacres and a theater, and can accommodate 3,000 people in the discovered part, which accounts for 15% of the total area according to the scientists' estimate. Secondly, the city of Nowers in France. An underground city built during the second century in France, with 300 rooms, 28 galleries, many wells, bakeries, chapels, and horse stables. In the 9th century AD it was home to the Vikings, they are warrior members in Scandinavia who raided and colonized large areas of Europe from the 9th to the 11th centuries, and made a profound impact on European history. And in the 17th century AD the city reached its climax with a population of 3,000. Third, the city of Nashabad in Iran. The underground city of Noshabad is the largest underground city in the world, with man-made architecture built on three floors with military and defense applications. This large complex supported by the history dates back to the early Sassanid and Islamic eras, and was used in Seljuk and Safavid even in the Qajar era. This secret city was formed to protect the inhabitants from enemy attack in the old area of the city and it was extended to the current level. The entrances to this complex were created in various ways and in hidden forms by a well or a narrow and short canal in the house or inside the adobe castle next to the city, and the crowded areas such as the bazaar, inside the guns that were made under the houses, and the wells inside the mosque, the gardens are where you can escape and quick access in the case submitted enemy attack. These flooring-related wells were used as well as traffic for air conditioning in the basement. Except for the main entrance, the height of other parts is about the normal height of a person between 170 to 180 cm. The interior of this place consists of several rooms connected together by narrow defined corridors. Also in this complex, latrines and the location of the oil lamp and short platforms are created in the wall. This place also contains a structure to surround the enemy if he enters the shelter. No mortar is used in the construction of this complex. Fourthly, Derinkoyo city in Turkey. 
The two tourists Mohamed Sheiki and Hassan Acehave discovered the well-being of the Turkish city of Dernkoyo underground, specifically in the province of Nevsehir, located in the central Anatolia region of Turkey. At a depth of approximately 51 AD, where this archaeological discovery became one of the most important oddities and wonders of the world, as this city is considered one of the discoveries the most intriguing archaeology in the world. As it added a new mystery from the ancient world, it is worth noting that the word Durinko means the deep well where this city was called by this name because it is large and deep underground, it is also known as the city of the Jinn. And this city includes among its flanks living quarters, kitchens, as well as corridors, as it also contains special rooms for the wine era, as well as stables, religious rooms, and even large graves, and it is believed that the goal of building this city is to take cover and hide from any danger, and the entrances to this city were equipped with a group of large rocks that rolled in order to bridge the drains and prevent the entry of any stranger. 5th Cooper Petty in Australia. An underground city in Australia, where people seek refuge from high temperatures in the summer. The city of Copper Petty is also rich in agate, a precious gem, where it is estimated that 95% of the world's agate is extracted from the area of Copper Petty underground. Cooper Biddy was established in 1915, after the opal stones were discovered by a 14-year-old boy who was on a camping trip in the area with his father prospecting for gold, and within a few years miners flocked in large numbers. But these people discovered that life on earth in that region was very difficult, because in the summer the temperature often exceeds 40 degrees Celsius, and on hot days the humidity rarely exceeds 20%. And the sky remains free of clouds, to escape the scorching temperatures during the day. It started people initially lived underground in the holes they actually dug while searching for opal stone, and later modern homes were dug into the hillside sides, and they included all amenities, including living rooms, kitchens, clothes compartments, bars and a cellar, usually the entrance to the street level, the rooms extend back from the hill, and all rooms are ventilated by a vertical pneumatic motor that maintains the temperature. There is also a local golf course in the underground city, and golf is usually played at night to avoid high temperatures in the daytime and is played by glowing balls. In the end, if you like this type of video, do not forget to support us like and subscribe to the channel so we can continue to publish more. Greetings to you.